Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Women Who Rock With Success, which is an award-winning show for professional women. We profile a collective of amazing women who are thriving to build their brand. Women are handpicked in various fields who can provide credible information to build your business and lifestyle. We are live each Thursday at 9 a.m. Central Time, followed by our latest brand, Women Who Rock Investigates. To learn more about us, go to our website at www.womenwhorockwithsuccess.com. Now, let's join our podcast host in the studio, Mrs. Diane Winbush. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to our second episode of Women Who Rock With Success Media. And so thank you for tuning in with us. And we have another guest that is in the studio today, and she's going to be able to share with us of her new release. And she is also a music artist. And we want to welcome to the show Miss Kate Victoria. So good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing wonderful, doing wonderful. We're excited to hear about your latest single, and so we want to uh, uh, dive into some um to some goodies, the meat and potatoes of what you do. And so first, uh, kind of tell us a little bit about you. What what kind of got you started into music, and why did you uh, desire to thrive at this um, uh, pivotal point in your life? Well, thank you so much. I've, you know, for my whole entire upbringing, I've, the, I've had a passion for music. I've developed a passion for music. Um, I just mm-hmm. I've loved to sing ever since I was just like a, almost a baby, but um, <laughs> I started taking it seriously when I got in high school, and it was you know four, I was about fourteen years old, and you know me and my parents we just would sing in the in the um, in the gym, and eventually we got a gig at the Ritz Carlton, and I just got motivated by the experience of performing and how much fun it was, and just just the love for music in general, loving to dance to it, loving to listen to it, loving to create it, and um, loving to sing. So it's, it's a part of me. When people ask me that, it's like I always try to just, you know, let them know that it is a part of who I am. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a part of how I express right. myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, 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 well, so. That, that's you know the that? background story what? there. Okay. Yes, yes, great, wonderful. So, kind of, what, what, uh, what was your choice as to go with R and B? You know, we got some people. That, you know, we got some artists. They do country. <laughs> we got some right. individuals. They do country. They do all types of genres. So, why was uh, R and B your selection? Well, I grew up on R and B. Those are the first salt singers that I actually fell in love with: Whitney Houston, Aaliyah. Yeah, those were the mm-hmm. first artists that. I ever was introduced to and so when it came to creating and singing you know it it just came hand in hand because I sang those songs first I started to want to create those songs and I'm from the Caribbean the U.S. Virgin Islands and so I'm exposed Mm -hmm. to so many different musical influences because our culture Mm -hmm. is a melting pot so um, Mm -hmm. I think you know I've I've had experience being um, you know, I had experience singing other styles, and so I feel like the R&B pop soul is a new direction for me. It's really, um, you know, just like a new adventure to really dive mm-hmm. deep into this specific style, and so I'm just really excited right. about it and just, yeah, inspired. <laughs> okay, great. That is wonderful, wonderful. So how does the Thank fans you. take to your uh, to your uh, music um, in the Virgin Islands. So, what are basically what are some of the things that you expect your fans to see when you come out on stage? What is it you know? Because all of us have certain different uh, messages that we try to convey over to our audience, <laughs> and mm-hmm. so sometimes you know a person may you know have the you know may have one message that they're trying to get over and then there are some that has a specific message that they're trying to get to their fans so when you go out on the stage and they say here comes Kay Victoria what is it that you want the audience to be able to grasp from your music well it's so funny you ask me that because actually when I'm on stage or I'm performing I kind of just 
think about, you know, you know, not trying to make it so much about me, but make it about everyone who's there, the audience, and and mm-hmm. and giving them a show. So that's the first thing, you know, just to entertain them okay. with a great positive energy and you know, great vocals and you know, great songs. Mm-hmm. But then also, I want to show women that you can be true to yourself. You can, you know, develop your art. You can express yourself creatively and mm-hmm. and take chances. You know, I like to have an edgy vibe in my music and you know in my wardrobe choices or my hair choices. There's usually just some mm-hmm. sort of um, you know edginess. You know, I always promote individuality and you know believing in yourself. I love to inspire people mm-hmm. to believe that things in life are conquerable and you know once you put your mind to it, you can do it. So I think that's bottom mm-hmm. line, like you know, what I represent. And, um, okay. yeah, so I would want my fans to feel mm-hmm. that, definitely. <laughs> okay. So you mentioned about your wardrobe and your hair, and, of course, your makeup goes with that, too. So does that give you some sort of uh, freedom as well and things? You know, uh, some people, they, you know, a lot of us, I've had jobs where you have to dance to other people's music, you know, in the past, you know, and then you feel like you're, you know, mm-hmm. kind of, you know, captivated in their world, you're captivated under their type of sense of uh, workflow or what have you, but this is a, a type of a career where individuals such as yourself can be able to be free, and so you brought out a couple of points in regards to, you know, the, the uh, you know, you can choose your wardrobe and what have you. So does that give you some sort of, uh, source of freedom, and how does that also speak to your audience? Because that's important. I saw the cover, your cover uh, photo, and I said, okay, now, this 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 uh, singer looks like she's on top of the world with this one right here. <laughs> and so our wardrobe and our makeup, it says, uh, I'm serious, yes. it speaks a lot because, the, you know what, when a person looks at an animal, album or a photo, you know, they used to say a long time ago, our our first impression is our best impression. And so people will take that impression throughout the our lifetime with that. And so when I saw that, and I'm like, okay, this is not no K Victoria. This woman should be in Hollywood somewhere. It's a very stunning <laughs> photo. And I think it depends Thank on you. how we, you know, promote ourselves. And so what does that do for you, being able to have the freedom to be able to say, you know what, this is my makeup? Because, you know, people like Rihanna and stuff like that. I saw an article where I think the, I think one of her hairdos was like $140-something thousand dollars. That's just for one hairstyle. So just uh, kind of share with us, <laughs> share with us a little bit about that and stuff is the freedom is to you know the flow that you have to be able to to present yourself to your audience the way that you kind of you know your character your charisma your flow yeah well i mean it's always been fun to me like i've always been into cosmetology and you know dressing up and stuff i know a lot of females mm-hmm. can relate but i i'm just saying like for me i i think if I wasn't in music, I probably would have been in some sort of either fashion or technology <laughs> here. You know, mm-hmm. I, I just mm-hmm. have kind of like a passion for it. And then also, you know, okay. I feel like these things kind of reflect who I am as a person. Like, it's mm-hmm. not a service-oriented mm-hmm. thing. Like, it's not about necessarily, for me, it's not necessarily about, you know, it's cool when you have a name brand clothes and you you have fly gear and all of that. That's great. But it's it's more about expressing who I am like if I wear this color if I wear this style I I want it to you know exude something about me and it can be really expressed mm-hmm. in words it's just like you know when you see a, you see artists and you see how they you're like okay that's who they, that's who they are and you don't think right. about it um so literally until it's like brought to your attention because um you mm-hmm. know some people consider fashion and and that sort of thing that, that it could it could be like a superficial thing and I understand that but um mm-hmm. I feel like what it also does is just kind of express who you are so I and it gives you an opportunity to express your individuality in ways that words can't really show and so any opportunity I get with my hair and my outfits or you know um makeup like you said mm-hmm. do it because that's a part of saying hi this is who I am and you know, this is how I do things, and and you know, being creative with my art gives people the opportunity to either be into mm-hmm. it or be like, you know, that's that's who she is. Okay, respect. Mm-hmm. I respect that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So absolutely, because I do see that the wardrobe. <laughs> 
Right, exactly. I I do feel that the wardrobe, the makeup, the hair, all of that, that's an art. That's a creative work of art. And so, you know, it, I just saw that fun. and I said, okay, okay, that that's that's the way it's supposed. I mean, you know, everybody has their own different flavor and taste as to how they present themselves on their cover uh, page and what have you. But I just thought that that kind of stood out to me <clears throat> and um, just wanted to kind of bring that out. Um, so even with that, so wh- who were some of the individuals that perhaps maybe compelled you to continue? You know, sometimes in life, um, okay, we we start out with one thing and then we'll jump to something else and then we'll have to go back to that one. We had a music artist um, on the show, I think, last week or week before that, and they, they started out one way and then I think they went to something else and then they had to back up and said, no, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing the music and what have you. So were there any, any influencers that kind of helped you to be able to continue your brand of what you wanted to do in music? Wow, well, you know, I do feel like it's important to, and then it's sometimes when I say this, I don't necessarily want to make people feel like if you change up or you do something different, that's not being true to yourself, because really the entire journey can be a version of being mm-hmm. true to yourself, but I think that's what motivates me. I mean, if it wasn't a passion of mine, if I didn't feel like I had a gift for what I do, if I didn't feel like I loved what I did, I would choose to do something different or I would, you know, mm-hmm. venture off in another direction and see what, you know, see what's out there. And I always feel like mm-hmm. it's good to be creative and, and, and to do different things, you know, because that's what makes, mm-hmm. you know, work fun or that's what makes your hobbies even more interesting when you, you know, mix it up with, you know, different, different things. But as it pertains to a career, like I am... Mm-hmm in love with music. I'm so much in love with music. It, it, it's something that you know, I feel that I'm good at and I enjoy in every way. So for me, it's not even mm-hmm. anything to think about. Um, it's just something that is an, it's like a natural flow for me. And I, and I appreciate that, you right. know, because right. if I can be sincere with myself, those who listen will understand what this is. You know what I mean? Right, right, absolutely, absolutely. So we want to talk about some of your last, not last, but some of your former um, stages that you have performed on, and we want to learn a little bit about that before we go into your newest single, um, When I Think of You. And so um, were there any previous um, um, shows that you have uh, starred or, uh, you know, stages you have starred on before you um, actually uh, released this latest um, single? Great. Well, yes, I have actually. Um, I've, I've been a finalist in the Miss World Talent Competition, and mm-hmm. so I won the Miss World Talent as well. And that experience was incredible. I think that mm-hmm. was my first time internationally, just you know, doing my thing mm-hmm. in 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 Sanya, China. And um, I've also opened up for Wyclef John. I've opened up for mm-hmm. Egyptian. Those experiences, Lady Sa, the Caribbean, the Caribbean um, massive knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> and as well, I mean, they're mm-hmm. the biggest legends. So you know, a lot of people, you know, can relate. But I, um, yeah, I'm just super, super, super blessed. And um, I, 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 I just can't. I cannot credit my experience to uh, as, as a performer um, to anything else but these great opportunities that really kind of set the right. stage for everything that I'm doing now, you know? So it's like, it's just, mm-hmm. wow, you know, big stages, um, you know, lights, it's just a, a an awesome experience overall, I must say. Right. So thank you for asking right. me that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because we want the audience, yes. to, you know, to learn more about the former stages that you have, uh, you know, and of course, so they can, you know, listen to that music and what have you, and then they can be able to learn more about this new singer that you have that we're going to be talking about, and it's called Visions, When I Think of You. So, first of all, before we get into the meat and potatoes of that, share with us the reason why did you select that topic. You know, the song is about love. And I tell people it's a really positive thing to just have a song that's generally about 
experiences that remind you of either staying in the present moment or mm-hmm. remind you of a loving experience. And so, and not necessarily related to a relationship, but still adding in those tones. So I, I, I felt as though if you're in the club or if you're just at a party, you're listening to music and you want to envision, you want to manifest, this is a time where people are manifesting and, and, and working and developing and honing their skills to, you know, think like um, where they want to be and how they want to feel. And this song, Visions, when I think of you, is like saying, you are that. You are everything that you want to be. And that person that you are for, or that person that, you know, that you may be in love with, a member of your family, that's mm-hmm. fair that that person, you, if, if you admire that person, if you respect that person, that's fair and that's okay. And so this song kind of keeps you in the moment, you know, expressing different scenarios that make you think of the emotion of love. So that's Mm -hmm. pretty much the end. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That was the inspiration and the topic. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now let's, now let's, we talked about the, we talked about the takeaways now. So now here is the real live stage. When you, when you go on the real live stage, (laughs) what is it that that you expect those, those those fans to see? What you feel, what you expect those fans to grasp from that? Is that the same thing of what your, what your MO is in regards to this song? Because sometimes, you know, people, they'll, they'll, sometimes people, I'm going to be honest, okay? Sometimes people, they'll go to the concert and they'll be jumping and don't even be listening to the song. They'll be listening to the, just, they just want to see the artist. Sometimes the artists get be just so famous. They just be jumping up as soon as they see them come out. So, they just came out so to have a good time. Have... I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's part so, of it, too. Okay. I mean, exactly, I, exactly, I, I, I exactly. Get <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I mean, I, I guess, I guess we wanted to kind of reciprocate that, I, even though you shared with us, you know, the 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 takeaways from what the actual mo of the single is. But when you hit that actually live stage, so what is it that after they get through jumping around, here comes K, K Victoria. So what is it that you still want them to be able to grasp <laughs> from this topic? Yes, ma'am, because, see, that makes a big difference when you're out there on the stage. What do I want my fans? Do I want them to get trampled over the fact that here is K, or do I really want them to understand my meaning of this message? Come on, go ahead. I want them to the embrace it all. <laughs> embrace it all. Embrace the music. Embrace the energy that I'm sharing, that I'm giving Embrace the mm-hmm. vibe, like I have a song called Vibe. Embrace the vibe because it's just a one, it's a one and only experience that you can get um, from what mm-hmm. I'm giving. Uh, and, you know, I, it's, I expect that for every artist to develop that and to be true to that. So um, it's, just, it's, it's just a wonderful blend, a mix. It's an experience you have to just come out and see. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with it. It says here that you have had yeah. two number one singles on the top ten network of uh, uh, Caribbean uh, countdown for 15 consecutive weeks. That says a lot about yeah. what you do for music. So even even with oh, that, yeah. how does that uh, impact your career as an individual that desires to be able to bring her um, her uh, her persona? to the world. We're going to say this is going to the world. 15, two top 10 network yeah. Caribbean countdowns for 15 consecutive weeks. Wow. It has been an amazing experience getting support from you know my hometown, from my local area, which the Caribbean region is my local area I consider um, growing up. Um, but, you know, at this point, uh, I, I'm just blessed to have great foundational support from the Caribbean people and these foundations and then to continue to evolve and develop in, in, in Canada and, you know, okay. in the future okay. in places other than America and, and, and overseas and that sort of thing. So it's, it's really been, you know, a, somewhat a part of the, my foundational structure mm-hmm. as an artist and uh, I'm just really 
so blessed to have had that experience because it does mean a lot. It really does. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really so do you does. see yourself doing more concerts and um, uh, events in the U.S. to be able to bring out a little bit more? I know it, you know, well, I'm not going to say finances are some a part of it, but still, do you see yourself um, branching out to other, you know, different uh, countries, uh, you know, different other countries, perhaps, you know, celebrate your music as well? So do you see yourself uh, doing, like, world tours, perhaps maybe in the next two to five years? Oh, absolutely. I could definitely see myself doing world tours. Um, like, as I said, I love to perform. I, I mean, I love music, and, you know, I love to share that music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have yeah. a good time. So that sound, that, that's great, and that's, you know, definitely something I see myself doing. Um, I'm actually going to be performing soon in Toronto for the okay. Young Filmmakers Ball on September 7th and the Hollywood North Gala on, on September 8th. So um, I will definitely be seeing my Canadian family soon, and um, I definitely plan on doing some more, excuse me, shows um, mm-hmm. in the U.S. and as well as abroad. When you talk about internationally, um, I got to perform in Accra, Ghana. You know, I just keep the opportunities open to, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, expand. And it's fun to share music. It's fun to connect with, you know, others on, you know, like-minded, you know, concepts like like music. Mm -hmm. So any opportunity to do so, I'm I'm excited to to look into that and and to get into that. So, yep. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. I agree. Um. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is so wonderful. So um, with our last question, uh, Kay, you. we want, of uh, course, for you to be able to share with the listeners how they can be able to reach you, how they can connect with you, network with you, and find all of the former and latest songs that you have uh, produced. We would love for you to be able to share that with the audience. Awesome. Well, big up, everybody. Um, as you know, my name is Kay Victoria. You can follow me on Instagram at I am K Victoria. So that's I A M K Victoria. My Facebook is this Facebook.com slash K Victoria Music. And um, definitely check out my website, which is I am K Victoria.com. So any of those three places you can find me also on YouTube. And much love, everybody. Look forward to hearing from you. Oh. That is so awesome. Kay, we thank you so much for being our guest today on Women Who Rock With Success Media. And you all, please meet us back over again for our third episode on the day at 12 o'clock noon. We will be having another phenomenal guest in the studio. So once again, thank you so much. And, of course, we wish you the best on your latest single. Thank you so much for having me. And have a blessed day, everybody. Much love.